Let's introduce our judges. <clears throat> our first judge has been involved with dogs since 1990 and has produced many champions with breeds such as Irish, etc. English Hedder, Cocker Spaniels, Great Names, Wire Fox Terrier, and Lakeland Terriers. He served as chairman of the JKC Hokkaido Black Judges Council for several years. He is a JKC certified Class A trimmer and recognized dog trainer. He has worked as a professional instructor at the vocational training school, focusing on dog science and showing and handling lectures. Please welcome from Japan, Mr. Saku Igarashi. Our second judge started showing and reading great names in 1975 under the prefix Wilstein and name of Zeta. He has held the position of chairman of the Great Name National Council in Australia, president of the Great Name Club of Victoria, and president of San Maria Cane Club. Over the years, he has also campaigned German Shepherds, Belgian Sheepdogs, and Australian Silky Terriers. He judged his first championship show in 1988, and in that time, he also judged all over Australia, New Zealand, and India. He became an Aubrey judge in 2023 and considered judging dogs as his favorite pastime. Please welcome from Australia, Mr. Wick, Mr. Mick Wilkinson. And our show chairman, Dr. Alan Hall. Good luck, everyone, and let the show begin.
Hi everyone. Uh, comment kay if naririnig nyo ako. Uh, good morning. Uh, welcome sa ating uh, first FCI dog show nitong taon. Our 249th and 250th FCI All Breed Championship dog shows. Uh, comment kay dyan, guys, please sa comment section if you can hear me clearly or if uh, medyo blurry yung ating connections because sometimes we're having technical concerns here so uh, para ma-adjust natin. Shout out to our viewers today. Uh, Mr. Franklin Shasi Manching. Shout out to Boss Ryan James Salud, Charles Kyle. Mga big bigatin sa Cebu. Hello Jan, maayong buntag sa mga taga Cebu who are watching right now. Thank you so much for supporting our live streaming. Sa mga hindi makaka-access using our the Facebook platform, we're also live using our uh PCI YouTube channel, so just search lang po uh, PCI uh, or Philippine Canin Club Incorporated and then you can see na live po tayo ngayong araw. So we're going to cut our live streaming uh, pag, uh, pagkatapos ng ating uh, schedule nitong umaga and then we're going to start again uh, sa ating afternoon session pagkatapos ng uh, lunch break and then same as our schedule for tomorrow. So for those who are watching right now, uh, please don't forget naman to uh, share our live streaming so that uh, many of the uh, members of the, of the club or may, many of the people will be aware sa ating happening sa club so also they can be aware of the purebred dogs here in the Philippines. So uh, for those also who would like to watch our live streaming, uh, our, uh, our show uh, in person, we are live here at the PCI Activity Center here in Marikina, just uh, search it na lang, PCCI Activity Center, and then we're live. Uh, we're, it's open for to everyone. Uh, it's free of charge. And also, for those who would like to register their dogs, for those who would like to become a PCI member, our registration section is open here. And also, for those who would like to register their dogs via listing, uh, we have judge available here as well as we have vets available so that you can have your dogs uh, so that you can implant the microchip for free here. <clears throat> so just to give you our schedule for today, uh, we have uh, we have six groups for this morning. We have the retrievers, flushing dogs, uh, followed by the dachshund. Uh, we have 28 entries for the retrievers, flushing dogs, and water dogs. Followed by only one entry for the Daxon. And we have 15 entries for the scent hounds and related breeds, as well as we have 14 entries for the terriers. And then after that, we have the pointing dogs, which only have one entry. And then 7 entries for the sight hounds. So, yun yung mga group natin itong umaga. And then, sa hapon, we only have the companion in Toy Dog, which uh, meron tayong 66 entries. Our, mo our most number of entries for this show is the French Bulldog, a total number of 28 entries. And then for tomorrow, we're going to have the Sheep Dogs and the Cattle Dogs, followed by the Spits and the Primitive Types in the morning. And then the Pincher and Snowser Molossoid breeds in the afternoon, followed by the Best in Show competition. So for those who would like to uh, to view our schedule, it's posted on our PCCI Facebook page. Just scan it or you can send us a message so, so we can send you guys the list of the schedule for this show. So also our show chairman for today is Dr. Alan Ong. 
and we have our judge first from Japan, Mr. Sako Igarashi. If I'm get, if uh, begin mo kayo ng konting uh, intro about him. Mr. Igarashi has been involved in dogs since 1990 and has produced many champions with breeds such as Irish Setter, English Setters, English Cocker Spaniels, Great Danes, War Fox Terriers, and Lakeland Terriers. His homebred War Fox Terrier and Lakeland Terriers are particularly remarkable, both of which have won Japan's number one All Breed of the Year award. Since January 2007, he has judged numerous, numerous FCI shows and other events in Japan, earning all breed judging status in the April 2018. He has served as chairman of the JKC Hokkaido Black Judge, Judges Council for, the, for several years. He is also a JKC Class A trimmer and recognized dog trainer. Mr. Igarashi, uh, has worked as a professional instructor at the Vocational Canine School focusing on dog science and show handling lectures. Currently, he breeds standard poodles and toy poodles and primarily judges at dom domestic dog shows in Japan. So once again, that's our judge, Mr. Saku Igarashi. And on the other hand, we're going to have a Mr. Mick Wilkinson sa ating ring number 2 in which we're going to cover yung kanyang judging mamayang hapon. It's me once again, so we're currently now have having the Golden Retrievers. So I'm gonna tell you a short history about this breed. Uh, the Golden Retrievers also here has uh, 11 entries. 
Uh, the most important name in the early history of the Golden Retriever is Dudley Marjorie Banks, the first Lord Tweedmouth, who developed the breed in the Scottish Highlands during the reign of Victoria. For the four fifty years between 1940 and 1980, Tweedmouth kept scrupulous records of breeding effect affected to create an ideal gun dog for use at his estate in the Highlands. Tweedmouth wanted a dog suited to the rainy climate and rugged terrain of the area. So he crossed his yellow retriever with the breed that is now extinct, the Tweed Water Spaniel. Irish Shatter and Bloodhound were also added to the mix. Through several generations of clever, of clever breeding, an admiring histori historian wrote, Tweedmouth created a consistent line of exceptional working retrievers. With a little more refinement after Tweedmouth's time, the Golden Retriever came forth as an enduring gift to dog kind from hunting happy aristocrats. The Golden was first seen at the British Dog Show in 1908, and good specimen of the breed began arriving in America by way of Canada at about the same time. Sport hunters appreciated the breed utility. Show fanciers were enthralled by their beauty and dash, and we all were impressed by the Golden's sweet, sensible temperament. The Golden was popular from the beginning of its American history. But the breed's popularity reality took off in the 1970s. So once again, that's our breed, the Golden Retrievers. So if you would like to know, or if you would like to get the list of the, breed, of the breeders of the Golden Retrievers available in PCCI, you may send us an email at uh, info at pccci.org.ph So uh, we can send you the list of the breeders available in PCCI. So the Goldens are generally healthy dogs and responsible breeders will screen their dog breeding stock for health conditions including elbow and hip dysplasia, eye conditions such as cataracts, and progressive retinal atrophy. The Golden's ears should be checked weekly for signs of infections and teeth should be brushed often. So when it comes to the grooming, Golden's heavily shed their thick water repellent double coat once or twice a year. And they also shed more moderately on a continuous basis. Most of the time, a good brushing with or with a slicker brush once or twice a week will remove much of the dead hair before it was a before it has a chance to fall off onto your furniture. During times of heavy shedding, these brushing sessions turn into daily affairs. But uh, bath helps to loosen the dead hairs, but a dog must be completely dry before brushing begins. Otherwise, goldens only need occasional baths to keep them clean. As with all breeds, golden snail should be trimmed regularly. Actually, uh, last week we just finished with the, just concluded, the first golden retriever uh, all breed as well as breed specialty show, the JRC, uh, JRCI Club of the Philippines, the Golden Retriever Club. It was a very success, successful uh, event. So, for the Golden Retrievers enthusiasts out there, so if you'd like to uh, get involved with the club, you may contact there, Raul or Nigel. They're the ones, uh, they're the officers of the Golden Retriever Club here in the Philippines. Thank you so much once again for watching. I'll be right back once in a while. Maybe next breed if medyo madaming breeds natin. I also have something, some things to do here. Thank you so much. And don't forget once again to share our live streaming as well as like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll be right back. Enjoy the live streaming.
So, uh, thanks once again for watching our live streaming for this morning. Stay tuned. We're going to uh, be right back 1.30 in the afternoon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. See you once again.